Hello and welcome to Games and Activities to Do with your students as they work on their CVC words. My name is Jean Rischel. I'm a trainer with the Institute for Multisensory Education and I have four activities to share with you today. When I talk about CVC words, I'm talking about words that are made up of a consonant, a short vowel, and a final consonant sound. These are typically the types of words that we begin teaching in kindergarten. So the first activity involves words made with that construction. Once students know the first few letters of, the, of our teaching sequence, in this case, I'm looking at the first nine letters, C through T, we can take some of the words that can be made with those letters and write them on cards. Now, when we play our game, and perhaps we're doing this as we're doing our visual drill in the morning, each child gets to pick a card and keep that at their desk. They would have some chips as well. The teacher begins the drill by going through the letter cards one at a time. As the teacher shows the next card, the student will say the letter's name and its sound. If you're doing it with a group, the whole group would respond, G says G. Then the kids get to look at their cards to see if they have a letter G. Looks like student number two does have a G in his word, and so we cover that with a chip. The next one, C says K, and again, they would look to see if they have that. Student number one does have this one. Our next one is D says D. Well, none of the cards here have that one. A says A. Several students have an A, and that one can be marked. T says T. Ah, oh, look, student number one has everything marked on her card. So student number one would raise her hand, the teacher would call on her, and then the student could actually move each chip and state the letters and sounds. So in this case, she would say k, a, t, and then put it all together, cat. She could hold her card up and remain standing. The game would then continue going through and looking at all of the different letter cards until everyone has them covered. So here we have H says H. This child can cover this one. O says ah, this one gets covered. L says old. Oh, another child has a card that's completely covered. He would raise his hand, the teacher can call on him, and he will go through and sound his letters. Old, ah, g, and blend it, log, and then he can stand up and hold on to his card. And this would continue until every child had covered all the letters on their cards. All of your children should now be standing and you can go right around the room and have them practice blending their words as you go through each child and then perhaps have them exchange cards with someone else and go across the room again and have every child read their word. This is great practice for the CBC words. Our next activity is a center activity. Here I have some letters which I've attached to clothespins. We've all seen this activity before, I'm sure, but it works great with the CBC words. So I've chosen some words that can be easily illustrated, and perhaps I have cards in the center. This one is a picture of either a pig or a hog, but when I look at what I have in my clothespins, I quickly realize pig. I don't have an I anywhere, so it must not be a pig. What else could we do? How else could we spell this? Could this possibly be a hog instead? Do I have the right letters for that? Let's see. <sighs> ah, g, hog. Yes, that one does work. Perhaps we have this picture. Again, that could be a hat or a cap, but when I look at the letters that are left, I realize that I have to use cap for this picture. Ah. So this is just fun, being able to find the right letters, put them in the right order, and read the words. Now as students become more proficient, we can even try this with sentences. So here, rather than a picture, we have a sentence, and we have some different letters to choose from here. The pot has a blank. What could a pot have? Well, perhaps you put a lid on your pot to make the water boil faster. So for lid, we would have to find the right letters. L, I, D. Of course, the words that I use in my sentences need to be words that are easily read by students. Most of these words are decodable, and the others are words that we would have taught as read words early on. 
if this is too difficult, but you'd like children to have some opportunities to practice it, rather than having all of the closemans out at once, perhaps you just have the closemans needed for that card clipped to the card, and students could then take them and put them in the correct order in order to spell their word. So those are just some things we can do in centers. Another activity involves scrambled letters. So here I have some little envelopes that I like to number and color code mine so students can put all of their things back in the right envelope when they're done. With this one, we call this mixed up words. I can take an envelope, open it up, spread out the six letters that are in my envelope, Okay, so I will tell my students that there are two words that they can form using all six letters. The first thing that I want to do is to find my vowels because I know that I'm going to be making consonant, vowel, consonant words and the vowels will be in the middle. So I see that I have two E's. I'm going to start with that and I'll put them in the middle position. Then I'll take a look at what I have left. What could I do with this? Hmm, well, I could do this. Does that give me a real word? Work at wet? Oh, it does. That would leave me with this. Does that give me a real word? No. But what if I switch it around? Could that give me a new word that makes sense? And so once I have found my words, perhaps I have a worksheet that I can then write my new words on. I could even draw a picture to show that I know what the words mean. If your students are at the point where they can actually generate sentences, you could also have them use the new word in a sentence or dictate a sentence to an adult to write for them or just do the word in picture if they're not ready for sentences yet. And then they could do the same thing with their second word and create a new picture. And then they can just put these back into the envelope and mix them up again for the next child. Here's another example I'll show you quickly with this one. We have lots of letters here, six letters. Again, the first thing that I want to do is identify my vowels. So I'm going to find my vowels, set them up, and then think about what I could do here. Let's see. Well, I could do that. That's a real word. What does that leave me with? Hmm. How about this? That's also a real word. That would work. But it's not the only possibility. Could I have switched these and would I have real words still? I could. I could even have switched this out. So sometimes I have many possibilities. I could choose any of those and add them onto my worksheet. So that's what we call mixed up words. The final activity involves blending. Now, we do lots of blending on the blending board as part of our review drill with students, but students can also partner up to do this on their own. So what could this look like? Let's say partner one points to each letter and then blends it. S, e, n, sen. Hmm, that's not a real word. Partner two now gets to decide which letter to turn over in the hopes of getting a real word. What if I turn over this last one? Will that give me a real word? Set, set, ooh, that is a real word. I know that word. And again, they could have a worksheet where they could list any real words, any nonsense words. So when I got S-E-N, sen, I would write it under my nonsense word column. But S-E-T, set, I could put under my real word column. Now it go back, goes back to the other partner who has to decide which letter to change. Maybe I want to change the first letter this time. Fet, fet, hmm, not a real word. I have to put it under my nonsense word column. Okay, back to the other partner. Maybe I'll change out the vowel this time. Will that give me a real word? Fet, fet, ooh, that is a real word. And play could go back and forth like this until students have found at least five real words. So that's a fun one to do. It's amazing how quickly your students catch on to knowing which letter is the best one to switch in order to improve their odds of getting a real word. So those are just some easy activities you can do that fit in with your instruction for consonant-vale consonant words. I hope you enjoyed them. Have a great day.